right, man, we on the road. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Uh, and talking about Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. Um, heard about uh, I heard behind the scenes that's the fight they trying to make. Heard Danny would, I mean, Mikey would tune up even January, February. Even heard that Mikey and Danny may not necessarily be done yet. Okay, but um, let's talk about it. We back, Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. You know, somebody want to be back here whining and crying. Sit down. <laughs> but uh, we on the way to the dog store, make a few runs. But um, let's get into it. Uh, Danny and Sean. Uh, from, I got a feeling like, well, I mean, I don't understand. Uh, I understand that's the right fight to make. And I heard the January 25th day without Errol Spence is not supposed to be a pay-per-view. It's supposed to be on regular Fox. But last time, you know, Danny Garcia wouldn't even fight for the WBC interim title on that day. And if Errol Spence is truly coming back in the spring, there's no point of, you know, fight making him fight for the interim title right now. Oh, it is a point, but they won't get that shot probably to the end of the year. Okay? And that's the best-case scenario. So... I mean, Danny and Sean, like, what are they going to dub that as? Usually, uh, even for a regular Fox title fight, the rematch was pretty good. I mean, the first fight was pretty good. The rematch could be even better. Um, Sean Porter coming off his, you know, best performance in some people's opinion, even in a loss, his his stock is really rose in, or rise, or it rose a lot. So, well, I'll just see what they, I mean, if they elevate Arrow to this franchise champion, champion of recess, or whatever, they fight for the real WBC title. I can see that fight getting done, all right? But I know they're supposed to be announcing the fight next Saturday or next weekend during the Luis Ortiz and Wilder uh, 2 uh, event out there in Las Vegas. And I don't know if Sean and Danny fight will be a part of that where they announce Mikey Garcia fight now with Mikey Garcia once again. I heard that he couldn't find, they wanted him to bum bash. He wanted a better opponent. So that's what they're saying. They want, Sean wanted a better opponent to fight, not just a regular uh, not just a regular, you know, any garbage can type of opponent. So, I mean, what Mikey wanted, that type of opponent. And I'm just saying, why didn't he just fight Danny Garcia to begin with? All right? That just makes too much sense. Just fight Danny Garcia. That's the type of opponent you need. But once again, you know, let's talk more about Sean and Danny. And then Sean and Danny, um, Danny Garcia looking a lot better physically than he looked then he looked, uh, you know, in Granados, and he looked versus Porter in a lot of his other fights, all right? He looked a lot better physically. Uh, he looked, his legs looked better, his speed looked better, his skin color looked better, he looked more healthy, and he said he changed, he changed his strength and conditioning coach. And, you know, and if you don't understand the human body, you understand how, how you work out. The difference is, once you keep doing the same thing so often, your body stops, to, it stops responding. You know, your muscles stop growing, and especially when you're trying to cut weight, so you're already burning muscle when you're as big as Danny Garcia kind of cut down to 147. And when you do the same thing over and over again, and your personal trainer or your physical trainer, whatever you want to call him, he don't switch things up, then, you know, your body, your muscles stop growing. You start to, you stop to get, you stop getting stronger. You start to regress or you start to plateau, and that's when you kind of switch things up. So he switched the personal trainer up. Now he's getting massages and he doing other things. So I think it's a different fight in my opinion. And I don't think Sean Porter took a lot of punishment versus Errol Spence where we will say to ourselves, well, you know, he ain't the same fighter no more. I think Sean Porter's stock is at an all-time high. It's even higher than when he fought Danny, Gar Danny Garcia the first time. But Sean Porter just got so much of an advantage in the speed, speed category. He might have an advantage in the confidence category because every time Danny Garcia stepped up, at the welterweight division, he never, he really never dominated. Even Paulie, people felt that performance was a shaky. Even people, when he fought for the WC title, was it versus Robert Guerrero? Floyd Mayweather said he didn't win that fight. People thought that performance was shaky. Keith Thurman, he obviously lost. So even Sean Porter, he lost. So every performance that, every performance that Sean Porter has, I mean, Danny Garcia has, he stepped up the welterweight division, he got beat. He got beat. And I know that's a fight that, that he wants to avenge, Danny Garcia. But Sean Porter, I mean, he might be more confident than ever. Sean Porter very well may, may be more dangerous. You know, I don't think he be he believed that he could hang with uh, with Errol Spence. The way he hung with Errol Spence. You know, I don't think he believed that. 
you know, but now he did. He did believe he can hang with Earl Spence. And now, and now, you know, I think his confidence is going to be even higher. Sit, sit down, boy. I think his confidence is going to be even higher now. And um, like I said before, it's a good fight. That's a really, really good regular Fox fight. That's the type of fights that, you know, Fox needs to put on. You know, those are definitely the type of fights that, that I want to see on Fox. I felt that Earl and Sean should have been on Fox. But I, I do believe uh, Sean Porter, when was the last time Danny fought versus Granados? Danny fought versus Granados. I don't remember when that was. Uh, was that like in February or some shit like that? Or March, whenever Andy Ruiz fought? May or something like that? So I think it's been a minute since Danny Garcia been in that ring. I think it was like, I can't remember exactly when that fight was, to be honest. But it had been a minute ago, and Sean Porter just coming off a fight. Sean Porter just coming off a fight with with um with Errol Spence on September 28th. He gonna be sharper. He already faster. He already you know he already know how to beat Danny. And Dan and people some people think Danny won that fight. Not just JFL heads out there, dog. Some people think Danny won that fight. Some people think Danny won the Thurman fight, which I completely didn't think he won. And to be honest, looking back on the Sean and Danny fight, I felt that Sean won. So Sean got better hand speed. Sean got better foot speed. Everything that bothers Danny Garcia, Sean got. The speed is obviously just too much for, for, for Danny Garcia. So And he had a hard time finding his timing. And he had a hard time finding his rhythm versus Sean Porter because Sean Porter worked. Sean Porter fainted. Everything that Sean Porter just, in my opinion, is a bad style for him when he fight like that. When you can't get the drop on him and you can't time shine, and maybe Danny can time him this time because he been in there with the speed before. He know the angles that Sean going to use. But once again, Danny has improved physically from what I've seen from the Granados fight. But Sean Porter confidence, to me, to me is going to make him a, a, a tougher fight. And he's seen another dog. Be quiet. I think it's going to make him a real, real confident. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm with Danny and Sean, but be quiet. But to be honest, um, they got to put something on the line. And if shut up, and if Danny Garcia, boy, be quiet. If Danny Garcia, if Danny Garcia do take the fight versus Sean, excuse me, they gonna have to. Uh, they really gonna have to uh, put put the money in, the, put the money where their mouth is on that fight for Danny to take that fight. But um, you know, Yuga's still in the run for it. I doubt if Lipinets in the run. He more higher ranked in the IBF. So, you know, we, we should know a lot. Like I said, Errol Spence is supposed to show his face at Ortiz Water 2. I don't know if that's going to happen. But, you know, I think Sean and Danny is going to be pretty much, it's going to be on the hunt. It's going to be on, it's going to be contingent on what the WBC do. If not, I, I don't know what's going to happen with that fight, to be honest. But what Danny going to Garcia going to do. So I don't know how big of a fight they, that is, how much money he got to spend if it go from pay-per-view to regular Fox. Hey man, shut up. You know, I don't know how much of how much how much is going how much is going how much is going how much is going to be different, but in my opinion, it's a, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. I look for, I look for, I would look forward to that. I would support that. I would push that. Um but I got a feeling that uh well, I know some some things behind the scenes. That they trying to get, they trying to elevate Earl to the franchise champion, mm -hmm. or they might, if he don't accept that, they may make him champion in recess. That's just me guessing, but I know they're trying to elevate him to the franchise champion. And um, so I think Danny and Sean are gonna be for some type of WBC title eliminator, uh, interim belt. It's gonna, they have to, for that to be the main event over a world title fight, Benavidez and Avi Uniman, they gonna have to make that some for a world title. They might make up the WBC uh, a gold title or something like that, but. I see that being the case, but um, let me know what y'all let me know what y'all y'all think about the situation. Um, as far as Mikey, I heard he supposed to be coming back in January, February. Pacquiao gave her April 11th date. That's a quick turnaround, but they saying Mikey won a better opponent than what they was offering. So he need to just go ahead and fight Danny Garcia the winner get uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao like I said last night. But hey, appreciate the love support. Let me take this dog in the dog store. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, responsive, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Link subscription. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.